Alright, hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial of Salesforce Makes Sense. This is Imanshu and we are continuing our Lightning Web Components Masterclass. In the last tutorial, we understood what are our possible options when you have wire, connected callback and imperative calls. Right? Which one to use when? And the primary difference being that connected callback is synchronous and wire is asynchronous. Interview question. Alright, now, jumping into the next topic, what is cacheable equal to true? You might have seen me writing this on the Apex classes, right? And I know most of you know about it because you know Aura. Aura components also have this Aura enabled annotation. But let's talk about it in a bit detail so that people who do not know get the hang of it. Alright. Whenever you write any kind of Apex method. Alright. How does Apex interact with the LWC? By mentioning this annotation that you know this is Aura enabled. This tells the system or LWC that this particular class is a method which is visible or enabled for LWC usage. Alright? That's the work of this particular annotation that's called at the rate aura enabled and it is always placed on the top of your method name on the method declaration or definition. Alright? On top of that, you know, alongside that you have something that's called cacheable equal to true which is put as a parameter inside your aura enabled annotation. Now what does this mean? This annotation helps you to reduce server trips and improves performance, right? If I look at this method, what is it doing? It is getting some information from the task object where the name of the account is basically the account passed in the parameter, correct? And this particular method here is basically used by a wire call. Wire call is an asynchronous call that gets the data from the database and stores it in the front end side. What is the role of cacheable equal to true here? Cacheable equal to true ensures that the data that has come from this particular database is stored in an intermittent cache and you don't have to always go to the server every time and you know run a query to get the data. But it will periodically refresh its cache so that you have the latest data at also. So as soon as wire, wire is very smart, it understands okay some data changes happen so it will get you that data latest from the database, store it in a nearby cache area and then you know give that data to you, provision that data for you. Okay, all of that is handled by this one small keyword here in the LWC module that's called wire. Alright, you will not always go to the hypermarket to you know buy wheat or rice every time you want to cook something. You will store some amount of it in your kitchen. Right, so you can consider the kitchen as the cache. Alright, and when you're preparing your food, you can actually get the data or get your rice or wheat from your kitchen instead of going to the hypermarket all the time. Why? It saves you trips, it saves you petrol, it saves you time if you don't have to go to the hypermarket every time. Right? That's the whole idea. So this annotation allows reducing server trips and improves performance. Now there's a limitation that comes with this with using this method. What is that? This annotation makes the method read only. What does that mean? This basically means that you can only access information from this particular method. You cannot actually you know, do any kind of database updates or operations or update operations or delete operations or create operations. They are not allowed. So this becomes a read only method that you know get me the data from the database and you know store it in a local cache. So whenever I need to wire it on my component I just have to get the latest information. That is what it means when cacheable equal to true it means that the method is read only. Alright, the third thing, there is wire and there is imperative calls. For wire services, you have to always ensure that the annotation is set with cacheable equal to true. It is a non-negotiable. Wire services, if you have used a method in the wire service, you have to ensure that cacheable equal to true is mentioned or else you will get an error. But if you do an imperative call, do you need to have this mandatorily? No, not needed. Imperative Apex is basically to actually allow you to handle let's say any kind of DML operations also. So you will not put cacheable equal to true here in case of imperative. And the basic idea is if you're just getting data, any kind of data from the database without doing any kind of other operations, you make it wired and you make it cacheable equal to true. That's your easiest and your best bet. So where do you apply cacheable equal to true? It is mandatory for wire services, but for imperative it is an optional thing. Alright, for methods opting for DML operations, like I said, avoid using this annotation or you might end up with an exception. You'll get a DML limit exception, you know, limit reached 1 out of 0, 1 out of 1 or something like that. 
because you are not even allowed to do even one insert command or one update command or one delete command when you are using cacheable equal to true that's how the system is you're not allowed to do that so just put a comment whenever you receive this error you know limit exception uh, index uh, what do you call you know uh, dml limits reached to you know one out of one so you might have thought you know i have 100 sockle queries 150 dml statements and you know what not but then why am i getting this error on one one insert or one update this is because your method has been annotated with cacheable equal to true and lwc does not allow you to do any kind of manipulation dmls that's the reason you got that error all right and which is why imperative apex has been made you understand the relevance and the important of imp imp importance of imperative apex wire services will never let you do anything because it's just read only you'll just get data from the database but what about you know updating data editing data creating data all of that happens using imperative calls always so that's why imperative apex is used on the second part of your lwc component lifecycle and when you load the information you use wire a bit more because you want to get the data read only mode makes sense so just put a comment if this cacheable equal to true made sense and in the next tutorial we'll start looking at notification and navigation